targets and plans have come and gone, and Canada has yet to deliver on any. Meanwhile, the need to reverse the trend on Canada's greenhouse gas emissions has grown only more pressing. This is not my first time sounding the alarm, and I will continue to do so until Canada turns the tide. Our first audit focuses on the 2030 Emissions Reduction Plan developed by Environment and Climate Change Canada under the new Canadian Net Zero Emissions Accountability Act. While we were not required to begin reporting on the implementation of this plan until the end of 2024, given the urgent need for Canada to up its game in the fight against climate change, we decided to move more quickly. We found that the plan was insufficient to meet Canada's target to reduce emissions by 40 to 45 percent below the 2005 level by 2030. Since we presented our emissions reduction plan last year, our government has put in place a number of new measures. I'll name a few. Uh, we've, we've tabled draft regulations for the zero emission vehicle mandate. We've tabled draft regulations for the clean electricity regulation uh, to, to have a, a, a net zero grid by 2035. We have eliminated fossil fuel subsidies. We're the only country in the G20 to have done that, and we've done so two years in advance of that. On top of that, we have a number of measures that are coming in, in the coming weeks. The final regulations on, on the ZEV mandate. We will have new methane uh, regulations so that the oil and gas sector uh, will have to reduce their methane emission by at least 70 percent by, by 2030. And we will have the framework for the cap on, on the oil and gas emissions. That being said, uh, the report we tabled to the UN last December showed that we're at 34 percent toward, towards achieving our 40 percent uh, emission reduction target by, by 2030. So I agree with the commissioner. We need to do more.